TGS presents Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Achievement. Beat the Cock. You gotta win the Beat the Cock Marathon 20 gamer score. And yep, that is the legit name of the achievement and the marathon. It's the final achievement I need in the game to reach 1k gamer score, so we're gonna go ahead and do it using the jetpack method. I'll show you guys how to do it here. And uh, we'll see if we actually win. I'll give you a few pointers and tips and, you know, what I advise to do and not to do based on my experience attempting this prior. Uh, first things first, you're gonna make sure your cycling skill, you know, stamina, and stuff are uh, up to around 50%. You gotta swim, so swimming, biking, as in uh, cycling, and running are all parts of uh, this marathon. You're gonna start with the swim, go to the bike, and go to the run. So you wanna have like 50% in each about uh, before I think it'll even let you start this from what I experienced, so make sure you get there. At the bare minimum, it is possible to beat it, but it'll be tough. I recommend using the method I'm giving you here. Uh, so first things first, this is where the marathon that I'm gonna do is located, right around here. I will say, I do believe there's a marathon up in this city somewhere. I don't know exactly, but you can go there if you like as well. But I recommend going here. It's right by the lighthouse. It needs to be Saturday or Sunday. Uh, so what I'm going to recommend, you hold left on the D-pad. It'll tell you what day it is, and the, the time's obviously on the top right. If it's not Saturday or Sunday, you go to the save game in any of your properties, or add any of your properties. And every time you save, it pushes time forward six hours. I just had to push it from Monday up at midnight or like 1 a.m. all the way to uh, Saturday, so it's going to be like over 20 uh, saves, but it, it can be pretty quick, it's annoying. Just have patience, do it, and you'll be happy you did, because you'll be able to access the marathon that way. And uh, obviously, you know, make many, 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 many saves in the process, but uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get the jetpack. I'll show you guys real quick where to get that. So what you're going to want to do is get through the game to the point where you unlock the airbase, which is pretty far in. Uh, you start getting into the desert missions, you get pretty close to getting into the Los Venturas missions, by the time you can buy this place, I think for a hundred thousand. And uh, what we're gonna do is you're gonna buy it. Uh, I do recommend you're gonna have to do the flight school, and then a jetpack is gonna spawn out here uh, by the rightmost building. I can't show you the building because it's obviously covered with a save logo and an S. But uh, you're gonna go right over there. You'll find it. And you're just you have to fly all the way down here. So make sure you save the game to Saturday while you're up here because you don't want to fly down here on a Monday because you won't be able to save the jetpack. And I. I'm completely unsure if you can put it in the garage and it'll stay there in your property. So uh, that is the deal with that. So you're going to need the jetpack. We do don't walk into that with the jetpack on. I'm going to equip it before you go in. As it'll be sitting here when you start the marathon. So we're going to go ahead and start it. Beat the cock marathon. Here it goes. And what we're going to do is just use this to get a big lead. The biking portion is also a really good spot to get a, another type of lead. Also make sure you stay low to the water because obviously I didn't there and uh, it didn't count but we still have plenty of time to get ahead. I chose like the worst time of day to do this. I'd recommend doing it during better hours and better weather at this point but we're just going to roll with it. So your goal is to stay low enough that it you know gets the checkpoints. If you fly too high it obviously won't count as you just saw. So a good factor right off the bat. Uh, also, make sure you don't go too low. If you go too low, you're going to end up in the water, and you're not going to be too happy about that. Uh, remember, the jetpack's pretty easy to control, especially if you miss. Just aim where you want to go and floor it. It'll go where you want it to go. So, uh, at this point, we're at the bike section. What you're going to want to do is get on your bike as quick as possible. And you want to be out, because they're still swimming, they're still far out there. You know, look at them, they're still way out there. So, we're going to be out and try to uh, beat them to it. It's quite an actual long journey by bike. Uh, your goal is to try and, you know, stay on straights as much as possible. The more you turn, the less he doesn't get to, you know, put down the full throttle like you see right here. So, the goal is to try and keep him going as quick as possible. I think my biking's up to at least 50%. I'm not sure if it's much higher than that. So, uh, we just gotta bike through this. Eventually, we'll get to the running portion of the marathon. And if all goes to plan, we'll have the final achievement pretty soon. I don't even want to look behind me right now just because I, uh, I don't want to mess up, especially in this part. Oof. That was crazy. I just lost control of the bike right there. Imagine we go off into the water. Let's not jinx it. So we have another one coming up. <laughs> I 
I don't see anyone behind me at all, guys. So we just gotta keep going. This is our opportunity because my uh, stamina thinks like around 50%, so I'm not gonna be able to run for that long before he gets tired. Uh, I didn't really prep him too much. You can go to the gym a lot and do stuff like that, and uh, you know that's that. I do have something to say. There was a method you could get this achievement done by uh, using a helicopter flying out to where the bikes were, putting all the bikes but your own in the uh, in the ocean, and then once they get there, they actually can't get on the bike because it's not there. And uh, it's basically an easy win because they can't participate in the rest of the race. Uh, but for me, I tried that, and the helicopter didn't spawn, so I don't know if it's updated. You might have to do that on the PS2 version, but I'm on 360 on the Xbox One, which is backwards compatible. Nobody there. I'm really hoping we get the, we got enough distance to uh, win this race. Chose the best day and time to do this. 9 a.m. in the morning. It's storming like a mofo out here. My guy's like losing muscle while we're out working out. <laughs> So I do want to throw the tip out there as well for this uh, this marathon that uh, what I did is I did this quite a few days ago and what I did is I got to this point and I tried to stay on my bike because you can stay on your bike for 20 seconds but I recommend getting off immediately because you won't be able to see this. I went straight here. I thought we had to go straight. So I went on the bike, you know, 15 seconds or so straight up that road and uh, pretty much what happened is by the time I realized it was up the wrong road, the people behind me had caught up and they were already running up this hill and I lost the marathon. So I was pretty pissed. So make sure you guys don't do that. Uh, if you know where to go, maybe you can stop at that intersection where the first marker was. But from what I experienced, uh, you want to make sure you go through the markers while running. This is quite a long part. We're just going to run as fast as we can and hope to God they don't catch up. Because uh, we jetpack to try and save as much time as possible, and we hold ass on the bike. My running's not the best in the game. I don't even want to look behind me to find out what's going on, but uh, if all goes to plan, we should be able to get this marathon done. I'm clicking as fast as I can on the A button, guys. We can also try taking shortcuts, like, you know, cutting corners short, and all that kind of stuff. I have no idea if they're behind me, if they're, you know, even on the hill yet. <laughs> they're most likely running behind me by now. How fast they're running, I don't know. But we're running pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with CJ right now. Then he gave up. CJ, come on! This running portion is long. Don't give up, bud. Oh, God, he gave up. I don't even see them yet. Well, let's not jinx it. I have read stories of them like rubber banding up to people, and I don't want to be that person. So apparently you just let off it and then you get a good burst. Because he starts running at normal pace and what you do is you just let him run at normal pace and then you let him build stamina and then you take off. Just run for corners like you're playing Forza game in my view, you know. I'm going to hit the corner here and then take the corner tight. So the further you run out from the center of a circle, you know, the further you have to travel to get to that point, you know what I mean? So. You go with this is trying to like minimize all that kind of stuff. Of course they're catching up. Watch them beat me. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm about to lose as well. So that definitely sucks. If so, this should be the end of the race. So nope. Of course it's not the end of the race. We're gonna get overtaken, and this whole attempt is gonna go down the drain. Watch. Wow. It's right there. Go. Yes! Fineo, holy shit. Where are they at? Did they vanish? There's a Beat the Cock Marathon achievement. Holy shit, guys. I have to swear, when I was up there, they had to be at least right here. You saw how close they were. What I'm wondering is if they went around the road. As in, instead of cutting that shortcut, they ran down that road and made the corner. And that's probably what saved my ass. That was so close. But there you have it. I just officially hit 1,000 gamer score in San Andreas right here at the top you guys can see a thousand you can see i have almost 100,000 gamer score on xbox so I, xbox one i mean but this is a 360 game but uh not as high as gta 4 but gta 4 had dlc so 
you know, it is what it is. But uh, that is that for that marathon achievement. Would appreciate if you like and sub.